Here's a fan that I acquired at an estate sale today, along with something else that um, should be featured a little bit later. And this is actually filmed on um, Sunday, I'm sorry, uh, Saturday. Um, the last video actually was Friday, despite how quickly it may seem something does happen. Um, but yeah, this fan works rather well. The switch is a little flaky though. Um, you can kind of see it jiggles about. The cord had been previously spliced here on because despite what it would seem that you just pry this off of here, um, uh, the whole faceplate should come off. It doesn't want to. I've seen that people have tried and so when the cord needed to be spliced because of a nick, somebody just did that with electrical tape, but I've redone it with a, um, you know, I soldered the thing together and heat shrinked it um, for the maximum and safety for whatever it means to me. Um, but yeah, the fan works real well, um, as you can clearly see now. was made by the um, Atlas Tool and Manufacturing Company in St. Louis, Missouri, branded as Atlas Air, and unfortunately a scratch in the um, original decal is uh, chopped off the head of the penguin that I think they're trying to use as their logo, I guess representing cold. Um, but it works rather well. I'll show you the back side here. Oh, and despite what the sticker there may say, I did not pay $20, I paid $10. Uh, it's just a repeat of what it already says. You can see that the motor is of reasonable quality. It has both um, a rear oiling port, that's what that little dot-like thing is there uh, on the top of the motor, as well as an oil port on the front. Um, so it's certainly designed for maintenance and is of very high quality and it moves a surprising amount of air um, for what it is. And I think the one thing that I like about it is, is that unlike most modern junky box fans, um, they've actually ducted the um, the fan, and so it actually kind of it, it, it produces much more airflow and is more efficient at moving air than most new ones, where the fan uh, you know you get stray currents coming out the edges, and it doesn't um, move as much in one uh, straight line. I also found this um, soldering iron here um, at the same estate sale. This is a, a 100 watt soldering iron made by, I don't think it's going to focus at all on the image. No, it's not going to. But it says it's made by the Drake Manufacturing Company of Chicago, um, a Drake Electrical Manufacturing, um, number 701 by their model number. It pr quite proudly pro proclaims UL listed. It's still, the sticker is still there. The cord is fair. I wouldn't say it's all that good it looks kind of dirty and I wouldn't dare to try to clean it but um, it's very large soldering um, it's quite coincidental because just um, recently I'd seen a video uh, that I uh, from a creator that I usually watch um, if you haven't seen his channel radio rescue I uh, highly recommend it but he also had acquired something very similar to this and at the same time I, the day after I watched the video here I find this, um, I just figured I'd add that on.